Have you ever thought about starting your own podcast? When we were trying to get this podcast off the ground, we had so many questions. How do we record an episode? Where do we find background music? How do we get our show on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and all the other places that people like to listen? And where do we find advertisers? The answer to every one of these questions is really simple. Anchor. Anchor is a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, distributing, and monetizing your podcast. And best of all, it's 100% free and 100% ridiculously easy to use. Anchor makes it simple to get up and running. You can upload and schedule your podcast ahead of time. It publishes to all the major podcast platforms. You can easily check your stats. I could go on and on, but instead, why don't you go and get started? Go to anchor.fm slash start to join the e-commerce minute and a diverse community of podcasters already using Anchor. That's anchor.fm slash start. We can't wait to hear your podcast. It's the e-commerce minute, your daily dose of e-commerce tech and retail news with your hosts, Bart Moraz and John Suter. The e-commerce minute is a production of Sumo Heavy, a digital commerce consulting firm in Brooklyn, New York and Philadelphia. Find us on the web at sumoheavy.com. It's the e-commerce minute for March 14th, 2018. In today's episode, Alexa is laughing at you. (laughs) (laughs) Imagine you're laying in bed. It's all quiet except for the sound of your significant other snoozing away and the rain hitting your roof. All quiet until you hear the sound of a woman letting in a short, mocking cackle. This isn't a horror movie. It's just your friend Alexa, and she is unwell. The phenomenon was first reported by Twitter user Captain Handlebar, who posted a video of their JBL speaker to which their Amazon Echo Dot is connected emitting a ha-ha-ha-ha-ha. Many people last week reported hearing unprompted laughs from their smart speaker devices. The laughs were occurring randomly when nobody is using the device or in response to a request to turn on or off the lights. We are aware of this and working to fix it, Amazon said in a statement confirming the issue. The company did not elaborate on how widespread the laugh is. In a later statement, Amazon said the device can mistakenly hear the command, Alexa, laugh. We are changing that phrase to, Alexa, can you laugh? which is less likely to have false positives, and we are disabling the short utterance, Alexa, laugh. Oh, shut up in there. (laughs) (laughs) We are also changing Alexa's response from simply laughter to sure, I can laugh, followed by laughter. For some, voice devices are now considered a common household appliance. Using voice devices can give the equipment an impressive amount of control over your home, but it's all fun and games until the devices begin to take on a life of their own. I'm sorry, Dave, I can't do that. <laughs> if you guys heard it, uh, John's thing <laughs> turned on. <laughs> uh, it's just laughing. It's just hilarious. I mean, it's a bug in the system. It happens. Um, yeah, this can scare the crap out of some people. Um, you think it'd be great at <laughs> Halloween, though? I hope they leave it on there. Ah! I didn't. I didn't even t- tell my lady friend about this because she would have me unplugging every device in this house. <laughs> She's listening. <laughs> well, she, you know, she's the type that would hear something and go, you know, oh, they're listening to everything we do. Um, the, 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 answer, the short answer is yes, they are, but that's to make it better. Now, if you take it to, to the extreme, it's like they're using what we're saying and using it against us, you know, it's, that's a whole. Um, but someone pointed out in some article that, Back in the old days when you had technology, you could, you could fix it on your end and you could, you know, restart it or, or, or get in there and, you know, do something on your end. But now everything is, it's just basically a dead device. So you have no control over this. Nope. You have no control. You have no way to fix this. Um, you have no way to get in and say, all right, you know what? I don't want this thing to start happening anymore. I want to shut this part of it off. Yeah, closed- but you also like you had to upgrade stuff with CD-ROMs. Like it, this is all connected. It's the point of it. Like I, I don't understand that argument. Right. Well, that's that's the beauty of it is that you never have to you never have to update anything. There's no software, but it is in essence just like a computer sitting on your desk. The exception is that it's a closed system, and everything that happens is on is on the the the, the server side. There's no client side anything in here. And I think that frustrates people is that they, there's no customization available where it's like, I don't want it to do this anymore. I don't want it to do this. Part. It's the same thing. Listen, it's the same thing. Like the argument between windows PCs or, or Linux PCs and Mac, right? Like I, you know, I've been in technology for a very long time and I don't want to do that anymore. Like it is, it runs, it does it. I don't want to play. And there, listen, there's a side of it that wants to tinker and play with it and stuff like that. But for regular people, I mean, I had to send out a whole bunch of remotes yesterday and, and fix them, you know, so that they work with um, uh, TVs, right? 
for me, it was easy, but you ask somebody else to like, I don't want to do that. I'm like, yeah, yeah. no, I, I, I'm, I'm right with you. I used to be able to field strip and Macintosh and change Ram and batteries and upgrade and put boards in. I definitely don't ever want to do that again. That's something that I do not miss. Right. Um, if you love doing that and love tinkering with code and you can change your own code and do all that stuff. Fantastic. For most people, that's not a thing. Yeah. So really what this is, this became a viral thing because it's got all the right, well, it's got all the right parts of a viral story. It's a, it's a device having a life of its own and laughing at you. I mean, could there be any a, a better headline than that? The, It'd be great if it happens in Holly, on, on the Halloween. Yeah. Or April Fool's. I would be prepared to see something like that happen anyway. Um, so the other argument is that some of these companies need to be more transparent as to what exactly they're listening to and what they're doing. And this could really get in a whole intellectual discussion of what, what these things really should be doing. But at the same time, that's how these things, that's how these things work better is that they learn what is going on and they learn what they hear. Mm -hmm. So if you're like a crazy, super crazy privacy paranoid person, these devices are not going to be for you because our, our artificial intelligence is at work, whether you like it or not. Oh yeah. Like if, if you, if you're against like, listen, privacy is dead, but I understand some people are still like all over it. I mean, it's, it is what it is. Don't have the devices in your, in your house. Now no, I have like three of them because I that, actually love them. And that's true. I'm the same way, I, but I'm on the camp of, I have nothing to hide. I, you know, I don't have anything to hide. And if, if I have to give up a little piece of a quote unquote privacy for convenience, for convenience and to advance technology, I'm, I'm okay with that. Right. Uh, now let's just hope I'm not eating my words in five years where it's like, I can't believe they, they run my whole house now. It's like, yeah. They will be running your whole house. <laughs> whether I like it or not. And then you, you, you turn a party mode on and everything's just like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, Whatever. There we have it. You got anything else? Nope. All right. Alexa, laugh. I changed it. Excuse Alexa. Me. I changed it. Uh, can you laugh? <laughs> Alexa, can you laugh? Sure. I can laugh. Tee hee. Oh, she said tee hee. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty then. All right. It's all fun and games until the, until the uh, technology takes over. That's your e-commerce minute for today. We'll see you on the internet tomorrow. <laughs> That's it for today's show. If you like the show, do us a favor and subscribe or leave us a review on iTunes. And don't forget, you can now listen to the e-commerce minute on your Amazon device. Just add e-commerce minute to your flash briefing. And finally, if you have a comment or suggestion or just want to say hi, find us on social media at Sumo Heavy. <laughs>